Hey yo, this is Dash, and today I'm using a number one drum and I'm doing some pork shoulder. Flashback. Twelve seconds later. Yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so I'm back out at the smoker and it's time for me to get the smoker loaded. Okay, so here I am at the ugly drum number one. Get my glove on and let's get this pork shoulder loaded. Now I always do fat side up and I'm going to knock on the dilly dally. I'm gonna hurry up and get this loaded. You see my water pan down there. You can see my fire going down there. Let's get this covered up and that is it. All right, so I have my pork shoulder loaded. I'm just gonna let this hang out for a while. Currently, the thermometer is sitting at right at about 200 degrees. I am gonna let it do what it's gonna do. It's going to still slightly increase in temperature as the charcoal gets lit. So I'm not gonna worry about opening up any other vents. I'm really just gonna let it sit here for about 20 minutes to a half an hour to see where it settles in. Once I see where it settles in, then I will adjust the the damper from the the ball valve there once i see if the temperature is still hovering at about 200 degrees i'll open up the ball valve a little bit to let it come up i really want this to sit at about 250 degrees i like cooking at about 250 if i need to i have a vent i'll wait I have another hole down at the bottom that I can open up and allow more air into. So I have the one hole open opposite of the ball valve and I have the other vent that's in the back, the other hole plugged up right now, not allowing air, 
which has helped keeping the temperature down. My wife and I have some errands to run. We're gonna leave and let this thing go. I'll be back at it in a couple hours. 8.01 p.m. All right, so it's been a few hours and I'm back out at the number one drum. So let's get that light adjusted and then we'll go ahead and we'll get this lid off and let's take a look at that. <clears throat> Man, that shoulder's looking pretty good. Now I started out with the six pound shoulder because this order I had was only for three pounds of pork shoulder. This is for a friend of mine. And I'm gonna go ahead and get my thermometer out. We're just gonna test down in here. And you can see, hopefully, there we go it's showing 165 so moving right along i'll be wrapping this up soon. a few moments later all right so i'm just gonna go ahead and get this wrapped up and then what i'm gonna do is friday night so i'm actually cooking this on a friday I'm getting ready to go hang out with my friends. So let's get this off of here. And we're just gonna place that right down in there like that. Then the next thing, get our foil. Just gonna wrap this up tightly. And I'm gonna leave it right here. Not gonna move it to the oven. Not gonna do any of that. Oh, it's getting hot. That heat is coming up from down in the bottom down there. Tightly wrap this foil or pitch this foil, and we'll let that hang out. All right, so you saw me get the pork shoulder wrapped up. At this point, I know I have a few more hours before this is done. I'm going to go ahead and lower the temperature because I'm not in a rush. This actually is for uh, one of my car friends who will get this tomorrow afternoon. I'm gonna go ahead and get it finished. It'll get finished or it'll be finished in the middle of the night. I'll let it rest, get up in the morning, I'll pull it. I'll put it in the bag and I'll take it to him a little later. He actually is gonna portion some of this off so he can have some pulled pork when he wants it. So actually I might do him a solid and just portion it off in about two, uh, three one pound pouches so he can have some pulled pork whenever he needs to. Everything else he can go ahead and freeze. I'll see you guys once this is done. Later that same evening. All right, so let's try this whole multicam thing again. I don't know how this is going to work out, but I have my pulled pork here. And it's done. Ooh. It is warm. It's pretty good, actually. Okay. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to do at this point, I'm going to get these cotton gloves on, then I'll get the nitro gloves on, and I'm gonna pull this pork right now while it is steaming hot. Okay, so at this point, hopefully you guys can see down into my little work area, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull the pork. I have a trash bowl here and my good bowl I'm gonna put here. Big pieces, just gonna come in, pull any of the fat directly off. Pulls apart effortlessly. And what I'm doing is trying to get anything that doesn't have any good mouthfeel out. And I'm not doing anything crazy as far as pulling this, but 
this this stuff right here I'll pull all of that out any veins or arteries or anything like this I'll pull that out and obviously any egregious amounts of fat too I pull out
All right, so there you have it. Pulled pork done on the ugly drum smoker. Thank you guys as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe and uh, join me in the next one. So at this point, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get just a little bit more seasoning in here and I'll go ahead and get a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce down in here as well. Like I said, this, this is actually for a friend of mine, so I'm gonna put it in a baggy plastic bag and I will go ahead and uh, so he can, or I'll, I'll find out from him in the morning how he wants me to divvy this up because I can put it in, in vacuum seal bags for him. But he said he has a new vacuum sealer he kind of wants to play with, so he might vacuum seal it himself. Anyway, thank you guys again as always for watching. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. Don't forget to turn that notification bell on so you can be notified whenever one of these videos goes live. We do a live stream, or I do a live stream Wednesday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern, the first hour of the live stream. We talk about something barbecue or barbecue business related. The second hour, we kind of shoot the breeze, talk amongst friends, and hang out. So please join us for a Wednesday night live stream. And uh, thank you guys again. I'll see you next time. Well, bye, baby. <laughs>